Hey everybody, I'm Bay Germain, aka The Terrible Shrine, and welcome to my video review of two-time Academy Award-winning director Ang Lee's latest film, Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk. So let's get right into it. Now, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Ang Lee. I've, he's, to me, one of the most di diver diverse directors out there. I mean, he, he's a guy who never really makes the same film twice. I mean, this is a guy who has made uh, films like Sense and Sensibility, Ride with the Devil, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, The Hulk, uh, Lust Caution, uh, Taking Woodstock, Life of Pi, Brokeback Mountain, and so many others. And each one is so different from the next. Like, you, you never know what to expect when he's going to direct the film. And when I heard that he was tackling a film about the the Iraq War, and particularly soldiers who uh, who served in that war... I was very interested to see how the film was going to turn out. Now, so, so I, I'm going to say right off the bat first, um, when Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk was released, uh, Ang Lee actually shot the film in 3D with a 120 high frame rate in 4K resolution, which is kind of, like, unheard of. Like, I know that um, uh, the Hobbit films kind of did did that, but their frame rate was much lowered compared to this one. So, so I was very interested to see how the film would approach that. Unfortunately, though, the screening where I went to to see this film, unfortunately, didn't show it either in 3D or in the high frame rate version that uh, it was shot in. So, but I did hear, like, sort of very mixed things about it, and some people were kind of put off about it. So it didn't really bother me either way, but it would have been pretty interesting just to see how it would look anyway, just to so, you know, I could have, you know, make my own up, make my own opinion of the sort of the style that it went for. So, but that being said though, like how is the film on its own? And I know the film had a lot of mixed reactions when released, um, but I actually really dug it. Like I, I'm not going to say it's one of Ang Lee's best films, Far from it, but I still found it a really compelling and pretty well, reasonably well made film. Like I said, it's. I feel like this is a film that I think has a lot of interesting things to say, and in a way, it's kind of a satire on how the way how war is exploited, particularly sort of for sort of the hero, particularly the heroism of war when we follow these group of soldiers particularly the character of Billy Lynn, who in the film is played by Joe Alwyn. This is, I believe, is his film acting debut. And we kind of sort of see how they cope being back home from war, seeing all the sort of the horrors and that they've seen, and ha being kind of put front and centre, like in this kind of tour, going around the places where they're being interviewed, and particularly in where most of this film is set, is at the Super Bowl, since they're a part of that and kind of seeing how they're sort of coping with being back at home and being sort of thrust into the limelight. And the film has a lot of really interesting things to say that in a very satirical kind of way that I that I quite liked. Uh, and I thought, in a way, the performances from the cast, and it has a really interesting cast as well. Um, Joel Arwen, who I, is an actor I've never heard of before prior to this film, I honestly, I thought he gave a really solid performance. I thought he was really good. And I was actually kind of shocked when I found that after the film that he was actually British. And I thought, like, he did a really convincing American accent. And I, and he did so, and I know that the film's kind of anchored on his shoulders, being that he's the main character. So I can under, so I can understand that he would have a lot of pressure on his shoulders as being the lead, but I thought he did a really good job and did really well with his role. And also the supporting cast, which including like Kristen Stewart, Chris Tucker, Garrett Hedlund, Vin Diesel, Steve Martin, all do solid work in their roles. Uh, and also the film does visually look great. Although I do, I will admit though, and maybe it's because of the way how it was shot in that 4K uh, high 20 frame rate resolution, the film kind of had a, a slight flatness to it. Like it didn't feel as vibrant as Ang Lee's previous films are. And I wonder if it's because it, since it was shot in that way, it probably sort of made the film kind of a little flat looking and not as an almost kind of TV visually, kind of TV visual kind of look. Not to say that the film didn't have some great shots. There are some really good shots in this film. And there are times where there's 
that the film looks can look stunning, but particularly sort of in conversational scenes or even scenes, it just kind of had a flatness to it. So I guess that's kind of the drawback of making a film in that style that you can't make the film as vibrant as you could be. But that being said, though, Ang, Ang Lee does a really solid job with his direction. The film is pretty well handled. Um, the script is pretty solid. Like I said, the film that kind of do does well with the characters and the themes, but I kind of feel like um, there are some aspects of the story I kind of wish the film kind of delved into more. Um, if I if I sort of say what they are, that would go in the spoiler territory. And I ca and also there are some sort of side characters I kind of wish were a bit more developed, and as well as some of the supporting characters kind of gave rather wooden performances as well. Not the main cast, but kind of the sort of the um, more kind of unknown cast, the, like at least the actors I'm not familiar with. And um, and also, they, I kind of wish some aspects with the sort of... Because the film kind of flashback goes back and forth between uh, Billy's time in Iraq and as well as him being at the Super Bowl with his fellow soldiers. And I kind of wish there was more of of what his life was like in Iraq. Like, we still got some pretty fa fair amount of scenes there, but I kind of wish there was a bit more... They kind of explored more of that. But but overall, I, I actually did like Billy Lynn's long half-time walk. Jeez, that title is a tongue twister. Um, like, I can understand why some it didn't really work for some people, but for the most part, I didn't like it. I mean, it's no mash or anything like that in terms of being a great sort of satir satire on war or anything like that. But I thought it was still a pretty solid one nonetheless, and I, I quite enjoyed it, and like I said, it's not one of Ang Lee's best films, but it's a pretty solid one. I kind of wish they, some, like I said, they could have gone further with some aspects of it, but overall, it's pretty solid. So, if I had to give this film a rating, i give it a solid 3.5 out of 5. So yeah, that's the end of my video review of Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk. I hope you guys all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all later. See you guys.